Hello everyone, Pixeled Monk here, and welcome to an old school RuneScape guide showing you how to complete the quest Anakra's Lament. This quest is considered experience difficulty and is medium length, about 20 minutes long. The requirements for this quest include 50 crafting, which is not boostable, 45 fire making, 43 prayer, and make sure that you have full prayer before you start the quest, 39 magic, and 45 mining if you would like to mine yourself. In your worn equipment, it is recommended that you wear desert robes and weight reducing gear, and a draymond staff, lunar staff, or a ring of dueling. In your inventory, you will need a pickaxe, chisel, bread or cake, chocolate cake works, tinderbox, candle, a black candle will not work, logs, oak logs, willow logs, maple logs, soft clay, Bring a second piece of soft clay if you would like to own a camel mask. Coal. Five coins or Shantae pass. Crumble undead runes and a standard spellbook. Runes to cast fire and wind bolt, wave, or blast. You can bring a dust battle staff or a rune pouch to save space. 52 kilograms of sandstone, which can be obtained during the quest, and two pieces of five kilograms of granite, which can be obtained during the quest. It is recommended that you bring 400 coins, super energy potion, and water skins. There are no enemies in the quest. Linked in the description below are maps for more information. To start the quest, you'll need to speak to Lazim. He is located northeast of the quarry that's south of the bandit camp. There are a couple of ways to get there. You can use a ring of dueling to the duel arena, and walk south to Shantae's Pass, take the carpet ride from Shantae's Pass to the Bedabin Camp and walk south, or you can use a fairy ring to code BIQ and run south. Once there, talk to Lazim and say, of course, and okay, I'll get on with it. Lazim asks that you collect 52 kilograms of sandstone and two pieces of five kilograms of granite. If you're an Iron Man, or if you didn't bring these items with you, you can enter the quarry nearby to mine them. You can use your chisel on the sandstone blocks to make them smaller if you need to. Talk to Lazim again. Say yes, I have more stone. Some more options will appear such as, here's a large 10 kilogram block, and here's a small 2 kilogram block. Select the appropriate response to give Lazim sandstone. After you have selected one of these options, the prompts will repeat. Continue until you have given him 32 kilograms of sandstone. Use your chisel on the 32 kilogram sandstone block that he gives you to make a sandstone base. Talk to Lazim again. Use a sandstone base on the flat ground nearby to place it. Talk to Lazim again and say, I'll do it right away. This time you'll have to give him 20 kilograms of sandstone. Talk to him and you'll go through the same prompts as before to give him the sandstone. He'll give you a 20 kilogram block. Use your chisel on it to create a sandstone body and attach it to the sandstone base. Use your chisel on the statue to refine it. Talk to Lazim again and choose what type of head you want for the statue. Any answer will work. Use your chisel on one of the granite pieces in your inventory and a prompt will appear. Select which head you would like to make. No matter what you pick, the result will be the same. Keep the second piece of granite for later in the quest. Use the head on the statue and a cutscene will occur. You, the statue, and Lazim will fall through the floor and the statue will break.
talk to Lazim. Walk to the south and pick up the M sigil on the pedestal. Use your chisel on the broken statue. Remove the stone arm right, the stone arm left, the stone leg right, and the stone leg left. Walk directly north and click on the door. A cutscene will occur. Go through the door and walk west until you come across a Z sigil. Pick it up. In each of the rooms with the pedestal is a ladder. Climb up the ladder and the sand pile to unlock a secret entrance from above. Make sure to do this for all four ladders. Go back down and continue west to the next door. Click on it. There will be another cutscene. Go through the door and continue walking south to another pedestal. Pick up the K sigil. Walk south to the next door and click on it for another cutscene. Go through the door and walk east to the last pedestal with the R sigil. Pick it up. Climb up the ladder and the sand pile. Then head back down and walk east to the next door. Click on it for another cutscene. Go through the door and walk north, and you will come across Lazim again. Take the tunnel to the west towards the center of the temple. Click on the door to unlock and walk through it. The sigil will be removed from your inventory. Click on the other three doors to unlock them with the sigils. Then climb up the ladder in the middle. Use your soft clay on the pedestal nearby to make a camel mold P. Use the chisel on the granite in your inventory to make a stone head. Use the head on the pedestal to place it, and another cutscene will occur. If you brought a second piece of clay with you, use it on the stone head to make a camel mask. Walk to the Northwest Hall and you will see a frozen knight. Talk to him. Right click on the bread or cake in your inventory and use it on the knight. Select it's okay, I don't need any help. Walk to the Southwest Hall to the frozen fountain. Use a fire spell on the fountain to thaw it. Walk to the southeast hall. You will need to light the six braziers. As you enter the room, it will get darker. Be warned that standing in this room for too long without light can hurt you. Click on the brazier to investigate it, and it will tell you what item you will need to light it. Use that item on the brazier to light it automatically. Continue this until you have lit all six braziers.
walk to the northeast hall to the furnace. Use an air spell on the furnace to clear out the room. Once done, pass the magical barrier to enter the north hall and climb the ladder. Walk south and talk to the bone guard. Use your crumble undead spell on the bone guard to destroy it. Climb over the pile of bones or search it to receive five big bones. Climb down the next ladder there will be another bone guard. Use protect from melee and talk to it. The bone guard will try and attack you a couple of times. When the prompt appears, say, of course, I'll help you out and okay, I'll start building. You can turn off your prayers now. Collect three stones from the pile of rubble nearby. Use a stone on the wall and use your chisel on it to trim the wall. Do this for all three stones. Once complete, talk to the bone guard and he will transform. A cutscene will occur and the quest will be complete. You can teleport out using the home teleport in your spell book. Congratulations, you have received two quest points, 7,000 crafting experience, 7,000 mining experience, 7,000 fire making experience, 7,000 magic experience, a camulet, as well as the camel mask if you happen to get it. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope that you enjoyed this video, and if so, please leave a like. Be sure to stay tuned for more videos by subscribing with notifications on and following me on Twitter at PixelMonk. You can also watch me live at twitch.tv forward slash pixeled underscore monk for more old school RuneScape content. Happy scaping, and I'll see you next time.